Hello today! Right, let's assume it's the 1980s. Um, you've, just, um, you've just bought yourself a new computer, or your parents have just bought you a new computer. You've unpackaged it, and you start to review the contents. Just say, you just unpacked your computer, here it is. And you'll see you have a part, and many, many parts, until you get to your power supply. You're getting excited because you're about to play on your brand new computer. And oh dear, this was a common thing in the 1980s. Um, well, as you see, we haven't got a plug. And the reason why we ain't got a plug, because <coughs> um, electrical items in the 1980s did not come with a plug because you had to wire your own plug and so that means other two things you have to search around your house and look for a plug um, item that you hardly use or back in the day you can go to Woolworths or something like we did and buy a plug and here we are so here's the plug you have to buy and wire in yourself. Yes, you have to wire the plug in yourself back in the day. And not only are you had to buy a plug, oh no, you had to buy the right fuse for the plug. As we can see, we've got a three amp fuse, which would be adequate to run a computer. So now, this is something my parents could always, well, my dad, back in the day, <coughs> to say I bought a computer. I didn't buy a Commodore 64 back in the day. Um, that I bought that in the 90s, but I still had the wire and the plug, even so. Lucky the law changed sometime in the 90s. So all, all electrical items you buy, a plug was wired as standard, which was a good thing. Because I can't, well, perhaps you, you will have to, but perhaps the younger generation did not know this. Um, and it was something you basically, your parents would have had to have done. Or if you're clever enough. Well, the thing is, it's pretty straightforward. You know, I, I don't know, I just didn't do it back in the day. But when you think about it, it is very, very simple to do, which I'm gonna, about to show you. So here we go. How to wire a plug. Right, first things first. Right, so we can see we've got um, a flathead um, screw there and two Phillips head screws. Um, so before we start, we, we can see it's got three, as we all know about the three um, pins. Um, where you plug it in, we all know to plug things in. So we have an L here. An N and an E. L is for um, live, N is for neutral, E is for earth. Um, and this is, you have to wire it properly, otherwise you go bang. So what we're going to do, it's going to be a bit awkward because the camera's in the way. So we unscrew the plug. So it's just one screw, it just, there's your top, well that shouldn't be there actually. <laughs> so you've got your top cover, so you turn it round, watch it, it might all fall apart. So that is supposed to go, um, where is it? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Like that, here we go. That is supposed to go like that, because the reason why, that's where your fuse goes and that just plonks in like that. That keeps it all together. So now, here comes the fun bit. So you've got a, as you see, this is, uh, where are we? This is, as you can see, this has only got two wires. This has only got neutral and live. There's no earth. And a lot of electrical stuff did not come with earth because the earth is inside the actual um, item itself. So there's no need 
for earth. So what you do, make sure the blue is on this side and the brown is on that side. And you put them through like that. This you can open up, by the way, if you, you can adjust that. So what they do is hold these to this um, thing down, this um, just like a strap or something like that, and it holds the wire in place when you put um, this through more. It holds it in place so it don't come out. If um, Well, it shouldn't come out anyway because you're supposed to, as you can see, it's a bit fiddly. It can be a bit fiddly, so you bring it out a bit. Maybe best to wire the blue one in first because the blue one goes at an angle. And you can push this up, as you can see, to make it a little bit easier. Push it down and don't lose your screw because that holds everything together. Um, as you're going to see, I'll try and keep this in camera as much as I can. It's not going to be easy. So first things to do, you bring up them screws so you can insert it. Once you've inserted it, push that down. And then, you, um, well you've got to make sure it's still in, make sure you get the screw out as much as you can without pulling it out like I just did there. Just bring it in a bit. Um, make sure the wire is inside, then you can screw it up. Make sure it's tight. Would help if I had a better screwdriver, but there you go. This is a flathead, by the way. So once that's in, make sure it's nice and tight so it ain't going to fall out. Yes, I'm happy with that. Then you can pull that out a bit. Then you've got to put in your um, um, this is the live so that's got to go in that side but it, it can be awkward <laughs> trying to keep it in camera and trying to so that's got to go around that uh, has to be here we go more, almost there so bring that up a bit maybe maybe it would have been ideal to leave the fuse till last it might have been easier but of course on camera it never goes according to plan right okay now it's awkward it's being awkward right is that in nope so it's almost in you've got to push it in Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the fuse out. <laughs> Leave the fuse till last. So what that has to do is go like that. And that goes in there. Right, we got that in. So once that's in like that, then you screw, screw it. Making sure that the wire is inside. Which it is, make sure you make sure you hang it has to be on the metal contact, not on the on the insulated wire itself. I'm sure we've done that, yes. Then once you've done that, that has to be turned round. I'll have to push that in a bit more. Uh, now, I've, now it's awkward. <laughs> right, maybe. Right, right. Here we go. Push it all down. Actually, I've done that wrong. I've done that wrong. That should. Yeah, I'm probably not the best person to ask to wire a plug. Uh, it's been a while since I've wired a plug, so what that I've done wrong there, I put it in the wrong way. What I should have done is put it in this way. 
Yeah, I'm probably going to get comments on all these people like lecturers. Oh, you should have done it that way. Yeah, big deal. I haven't wired a plug in for a long, long time. I mean, why would you? Well, since the 90s, it was standard for all items to come already plugged. So why would I wire a plug after all this time? I've never needed to replace a plug. So here we go. So hopefully that will go in like that and we have, right so that's in, pull that back a bit so it goes in and we can put in our fuse once again. There you go. Plugs all neat and if you want to tighten those up so they won't fall out you can tighten them up. But they're all fully tightened so we don't need to tighten them up no more and once um, you're happy with that making sure that the brown is going to um, where the fuse is and the blue is going to where that point is as I say if you've got an earth wire that'll go there but a lot of items don't come with earth because they're already earthed so then we can put our cover back on Find the screw, which is here, then we can um, tighten it all the way. Being an angle of the screwdriver, it can be pretty difficult, but that's it. It's wired. That's how you wire a plug. It's that easy. But I will show you something else. This is more of a modern plug. So as you can see, um, there is no screws whatsoever. So this is basically a sealed plug. This is what you get modern plugs and since the 90s. Um, but you can get to your fuse. That's the only thing you can get to. If your fuse blows, you can open it up. Like so. And you can see a fuse in there. But we're not going to replace it because we don't need to. So that's it really. Right, as I'm about to end this video, I will show you a plug with um, earth wired in as well. This is um, off one of them um, extension plugs where you can plug up to six additional plugs in. Um, one of them plugs. As you can see, it has got the earth and just normal brown and light live and neutral and this has got a 13 amp fuse in it because obviously this is connected to a six plug uh, that uh, six plug um, extension wire lead or whatever you want to call it so you can plug um, six things into one if you know what I mean so obviously it has to add the earth a more powerful fuse and saying the wire is just the same basically so basically that's how you wire up a plug um it is pretty easy once you get once you get used to it i haven't wired up a plug in so long so i was a little bit rusty there but it is easy once you get to know how to you once you know how to do it anyway thank you so much for watching this video please don't blow yourself up you won't <laughs> till next time and goodbye